respect your academic time, but mostly you come here for the basketball time. Of course. Time. And you know, and stay out the streets. Because this is the first day, so we'll be here just about every other day. I'm mean, always be talking to y'all, right? right? And then I need some more Gatorade. Yeah. So, <laughs> we need some more Gatorade. Before we get started with lunch, I'm going to say a few things. First, you see this lunch area is clean. Before we eat lunch every day, you line up just like you did there, and you will not walk on the basketball court. So you have to take the out of bounds area. Okay, we're gonna keep this area neat, just like it was before you got here. Now we're gonna eat lunch for about 30 to 45 minutes, and then we're gonna go directly into basketball. Go! Go! Since the rebounds together, I'd be a done deal. In my offense, that's all. What's your name? Will Ricks. Hey, this is Reverend James Meeks, and I am giving a shout out to Josh and everybody at Swiss Dreams. And I want you to know that this is an excellent basketball camp. As a matter of fact, it is taking place right now inside behind me. I wish I was still young. I would go out there and I would show every youngster some. I matter of fact, I, I might take off this suit and just go put on my gym shoes and still go show them a thing or two. But listen, is it, it is excellent to learn math, to learn English, and then to be able to play basketball 
all at the same time. What Josh is doing here, what the Swiss Dreams Board is doing and what they put together here is an excellent program. All families should have their children enrolled and apart and I am just excited that the Salem Baptist Church of Chicago is associated with it and that we have a part to play in this fantastic summer camp. God bless you. My sons joined the program and I think it's been excellent and wonderful. It's taught them a lot of things, camaraderie, um, competition and sportsmanship. I think the coaches have been wonderful um, and I think it's been a great experience for my boys and I think they'll be better for it. Well, I'm really trying to work on being more aggressive because, you know, spending time to play with the ball out in front of three-point line, that's not going to open the score. I think this is a great program. It's a great idea and it looks like that they're really running it, you know, in a uh, really professional. organized, professional fashion. You know, I'm, I'm really impressed with what I see going on here. I like the way they throw stuff on YouTube and on the website, you know, and uh, I like the fact that they combine the athletics with the academics. That's not 19, that's 18, 18, 18. How many inches do you have? Uh, 227. It's right here, that's where it stops, right? Yeah. So that's not uh, just 226. All right, so you're What we're about to do, we're about to go over a little bit of media training. I think it's extremely important for the students to know how to talk in the media. A lot of times you see NBA players, they come into the league, they mumble a lot, they're not really confident when they do the post-game interviews. I think it's important for these guys to know the financial implications, whether uh, our company's looking at you to give you an endorsement, do they want you to be a spokesperson? So they're gonna cover a lot of those different things today. I have these different signs up, posted up. A couple key points that I want to bring up that are very important anytime you're talking to a reporter. 20 seconds. What we're doing here today is giving the kids some media training. Um, we do know that they want to go into the sports field and just to let them know that the media is a big part of that. Um, what we're doing, we have a few scenarios that we're giving them where we allow them to be either reporters or coaches or managers and kind of act out the scenarios based on a lot of the key rules that we're teaching them. You got What's your name? Hassan. Hassan. I say the 20 seconds is like the time limit that you have to like, uh, like how they taught us, like you have to say something mm -hmm. in order to show like sportsmanship or something like that. And that's just probably like the time limit that you can say something yeah. until you want to stop talking. 20 seconds, that's pretty much the time you have to get your point across. Don't go um, um, and start saying, well, like making this long, drawn out story. Because you all know your attention span is probably short too, right? You only have so much time to listen to it. And when you're with a reporter, reporter's right there, say what you have to say and be done with it. Right now, it's draft day. This is their last chance to prove where they should be chosen in the first, the inaugural Swiss Dreams draft. I'm the commissioner, this is assistant commissioner Bates, right here, okay? These kids have been through a one week intensive, 10 to 4 training, math, reading, basketball, excellence. These kids are out here hustling, down the balls. They are working. They are working. We developed, put together a very intense program to get ready to play. Some of these kids could not dribble a basketball one week ago. Believe it or not, on Monday there were kids here who could not dribble. Going number one in the draft to Windy City's finest, Joe Johnson.
Man, the past two weeks have been have been a, definitely a roller coaster ride. Definitely a lot of huge blessings. I will say that everything pretty much turned out just like I wanted it to. Uh, a lot of people came out to support, as you saw, parents, board of directors, friends, family, the whole nine yards. Uh, it's, it's just it's just really been a huge blessing, and hope I'm hoping that you know one day we can take this mission statement and make it something that's not only citywide, but hopefully you know encompasses the whole U.S. and then eventually. You know, we want to go global with it. So thank you to all the parents, all the supporters, everybody that's believed, that has believed in us since day one. So it's what, it's 2010. Check in with us in what, 2011, 2015. See where we at. Holla. Peace.